Now I've got my undercover uniform, I should get to Chan's scrapyard and find a way to join his gang. gonna leave a dent. Get out of the way! Well, that wasn't my fault. Oh, no! Oh, come on! Hey, Chase. Now you're an undercover detective, I've added a new function to your communicator. Is it a voice recorder? So I can do private eye style monologues? No! I was disappointed, but I decided to hear the lady out. It's an audio scanner. You just point it at a window and you can hear what's being said inside the room. You'll need to get to a vantage point to use it, though. It sounded like it might be useful. I thanked the nice lady and set off into the night. It's the daytime. Good luck, Chase. I should get to somewhere I can listen out for clues. <laughs> I'd like to order um, deep pan pepperoni with mushrooms and Look, I've told you already, if you want me to paint your portrait, you will have to stay still! Why am I phoning you? Because you're late for your interview. Where are you? 
Oh, you're meant to be a Chan's limo place. Get a move on. Can you believe that? That Bucky Butler guy. The one who wants to join the gang? Yeah, he was at the art gallery. Well, they do have an excellent collection of Cubist sculptures. What does Cubist mean? <laughs> Bucky Butler. Why is that name familiar? I busted that guy, like two years ago. If I get him out of the picture, then I can take his place at the job interview and join Chan's gang. This is an emergency. Oh. Nice driving, Chase. I need your car. Gonna get in trouble for that. What do you think of this? <laughs> Goodbye, sir. I hope you enjoyed the gallery. Uh, yeah, thanks. I picked up this real nice print from the gift shop. Gosh, it looks... Hey, you! Stop! I know you! You had a cop from years ago! What? Oh, way to tip off your target, Chase. I, uh, just want to talk! Uh...
Oh man, why do you keep arresting me? You were going to join Chan's gang. That ain't a criminal offense. Sheesh, I don't like to tell people how to do their own job, but if you're gonna arrest me for anything, it should be for the painting I just stole, you fool. Huh? Oh, sausages. Thanks, Bucky. Okay, I better get to my job interview. I can't wait to start my new job at the fire department next week. I know I saw it somewhere around here. Hey! Ugh. Look where you're going! Hey. You're the new boy? Yes, sir! Oh, I was promised a thug. You look more respectable than I was hoping. Uh, well then, maybe you should get some glasses, old man. Haha, <laughs> that's more like it! Okay, I need you to pick someone up. Oh, are they feeling sad? In a car! Obviously. The person is Forrest Blackwell. The multi-billionaire? That is correct. It won't be easy, though. Mr. Blackwell is constantly hounded by the paparazzi. They will try to follow you, and Mr. Blackwell will not like this. Got it. Not a problem, because I am awesome at driving. Good boy. Go pick him up at Blackwell Tower, and be polite. He's our only customer.
Safety! Safety! Mr. Blackwell, are you still thinking about the scandal? Why won't you let anyone in your tower anymore? Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? Gentlemen, please, give Mr. Blackwell some privacy. He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. One more question, sir. What? Where are you going? Hey, Mark, are you Morris going? Blackwell, sir, what? don't leave me. It's my job. Where can I take you, sir? Very kind of you to ask, young man. I shall be attending one of the last ever performances of the perpetual inbox of the Gillespie Theatre. I trust you have been told of my aversion to the paparazzi. Yes, sir. I'll do my best to shake them off. I appreciate that this may require you to adopt a somewhat, shall we say, unorthodox driving style. It could get a little rough. Oh, do not worry on my account. I have ridden atop ships of the desert. Nothing can compare to the discomfort that inflicts upon one's posterior. Are you a patron of the arts yourself, young man? Well, I like that TV show with the monkey who solves crimes. Ah, a true connoisseur. May I ask what the play you're seeing is about? Authority, regulations, bureaucracy, the usual concerns of petty individuals. Sounds like my old job. Ah, to have your plans thwarted by fools. But what can you do? You either ignore it and get on with your life. Or you go mad. <laughs> yes. Mad. Hey! Or you could sneak behind their backs and get your own way without them knowing. The third option. Don't tell anyone. But that's the one I favor. Me too. Well, I hope you enjoy the play anyway. Thank you. I suspect it'll be the last chance I get to see one in quite some time. I have rather a long trip coming up. Is that the time? My bad. Could you hurry, please? Well, I think I just about survived that journey, driver. There's no need to wait. I shall be getting home by other means. Goodbye! Goodbye, sir. That was admirable driving for Mr. Blackwell. Your complete lack of respect for traffic laws proves that you are an awful person and is to be commended. Thanks. I hate traffic laws. Yes. I sense you may be the sort of individual we are looking for. Have you ever stolen anything? I stole some pens. Oh. A thousand pens. From a child with a limp. Excellent. Then you are to be offered a promotion. Go to the alleyway to the left of the salvage yard in Pagoda. My employer will be anticipating your arrival there. He will explain the details. Let's go meet Mr. Chen. Perfect. I'm here about a promotion. You? You look like a cop. Well, I'm not. See? Ugh. Greetings, driver. You want to make some money? Stop that! I will fire you, prancing fools! 
Oh. Mm. Uh, uh, what do you got in mind? Getaway driving? Not so fast. Careful driving? No! First, you have to prove yourself. Here is a list of instructions. Follow them, and then report to my salvage yard. And don't get caught like those knuckleheads did! Sure thing, Mr. Chan. Please, call me sir. Why are you still here?! Okay, so Chan wants me to recover a car from his rival while they're having a shindig. I guess that makes me a party pooper. Huh, I don't think I've ever pooped a party before. No Police, I'm gonna need your car. They'll be fine. Now! Whoa! Ouch! Whoa!
there. It ain't fair that we have to guard this place. Yeah. You know, we could sneak off to that other party by the hotel pool. Maybe. If they started playing some decent music. <laughs> and serve up some food. There's meant to be a barbecue here. How do they expect me to serve up bird food hey, poisoning oh. in a bun without a barbecue? I didn't train for two... Hey, a barbecue! And it's even clean! I won't have to smother everything in ketchup to disguise the taste this time. Now I just need some stuff to cook on it. system blew up. That is the last time I play opera on it. Whoa, you're some kind of electrical whiz. But you're gonna need another record before you can spin the decks. And kablamo! <laughs> oh, uh, that wasn't meant to happen. And now I shall bring her back. Shazam Ablam! A record? Should I have used Shamaza Kazoo? Or maybe Krabakadabra? No, that's for making seafood appear. Oh well, I'm sure she's somewhere safe. Get up to 11. Uh-oh. I think the rhythm just got me. Catch you later. to get me some food. Yes. 
Is that, uh, chicken? That's per- Thanks. 30 seconds and these'll be ready to eat. Would you like some chicken tartare? I'll pass. Do I smell food cooking? I think I do. Secret car washes? Get him! Is it true you're a member of a criminal gang now? Yeah, that's right. I'm working for Chan Chuang. <gasps> I can't believe you do that. I admired you, Chase. <laughs> it's not real, Frank. I'm undercover, remember? So I can find out where Rex is and arrest him? <laughs> yeah, I knew that. <laughs> you don't have to sign that. Good luck in your new job card anymore. Listen, Chan asked me to take a car from one of his rivals. He wasn't exactly a nice guy, but he should probably be compensated by the city. Do you think you can get that cleared by someone in charge? Sure, I can totally do that. I once gave a really important message from the mayor to the mayor. Oh, okay. I'm sending it over now. See you, Frank. Hey, great work, driver. You have proven yourself to be most reliable. Which is good, because I need you to go to the office at my limo place. The burglar alarm has gone off. I would send Feng or Lee, but they're tied up at the moment. Which is why I told you not to play with skipping ropes during work hours! What about the old guy who works at your limo company? I had to fire him for being too familiar with me, which I regret as he's my father. If you find anyone in there, I want you to deal with them. Do you understand? Yeah? Oh, and while you're in there, the people who employ my services value their privacy. So don't look at my records! I wouldn't dream of it. What are they doing in there? One, 
too. Chan's men were after me. They kind of are. I'm undercover in his game. Why were you in his office? I'm trying to find my dad, Chase. What? Like in a filing cabinet? No, no. I mean that just before he disappeared, he was seen getting into a limousine. One of Chan's? I think so. But the only stuff I found in Chan's office were empty money bags from Papalardo's. Papalardo's? Yeah, the ice cream place with the trucks, you know. Yeah. I remember. So if Chan's working for Vinny Papalardo's gang, is it Vinny that's working for Rex? Hey! Where are you going? Chan must be keeping my dad somewhere else. Stop! It's too risky! I'll find your dad. It's the least I can do. I am not gonna let you endanger my dad just so you can make up for the past. That's not! Why I want to help you. What did you find in my office, driver? Oh, nothing. I think an animal got in and set the alarm off. Some sort of stubborn mule. Not again. This is why I told you not to store carrots in there, idiot! So don't worry. No one knows you're working for Vinnie Papalardo. Excellent. What? You looked at my records! Sorry, I, I couldn't help it. But wow, Vinnie Papalardo is one heck of a criminal. Maybe so, but unlike me, Vinnie Papalardo has quite a temper. What? I am very mild-mannered! You're fired! Also, he doesn't trust anyone. Not since Mo, his right-hand man, got arrested. <laughs> huh. Vinny would probably be really grateful to anyone who could help with that. Oh, yes. You could just steal a prison truck and then pick him up outside the courthouse where he's being sentenced today. Wait a minute. You're not thinking about joining his crew, are you? You're my driver! Not for much longer. If I can get Mo out of jail, that could be my way into Vinny's gang and get me one step closer to Rex. Oh, hey, Chase. What you need? What can you tell me about Vinny Papalardo's right-hand man? Mo DeLuca? He's not actually a criminal. He's just Vinny's cousin. So why is he being sentenced? Uh, let me check. <laughs> wow. 412 unpaid parking violations. Parking tickets? So, I suppose it won't really matter if he doesn't go to jail. 
What are you up to, Chase? Chan is working for Vinny, and I'm pretty sure Vinny is working for Rex. But to get in with Vinny, I'll need him to trust me. By busting out Mo DeLuca? That doesn't sound very by the book. It's the only lead I've got. Does the department have a prison transport truck I can borrow? Maybe. Try Chuck. He's outside the back of the station. I'll tell him you're coming. <laughs>